Hi there YouTube, this is our first video. Today we're going to be working on a John Deere LA-105 lawn tractor. This is a 2007 model. We're just going to change the oil and the air filter on it and uh, get it ready to cut some grass. So hope you enjoy the video. If you have any questions, message me down at the link below. Let's get... All right guys, what we're going to need today is uh, technically it takes one and a half quarts of oil. We've got their air filter and we have our oil filter. Genuine John Deere part. It's a GY20577. Should fit most of the 100 series John Deere lawn tractors. I uh, don't really need any tools for this, so uh, let's get started. Just to make life easier, I went ahead and jacked up the front of the mower so you can, uh, it'll drain better, and I can get my drain pan underneath it, more importantly. Um, first thing you want to do is crack the uh, dipstick tube so that it will uh, let it breathe a little bit better as you're draining. This is about as simple as it gets. You turn the uh, this plug clockwise and you pull it off. And that's how you drain the oil. Uh, the manual calls for one and a half quarts with a filter change, which we're gonna do also. And um, we'll let this drain and we'll get the filter off. All right, as you can see, we moved the drain pan over to the other side. Had a little bit of rain, had to had to stop for a second. The um, oil filter, normally it should just be on here hand tight. Somebody got a little overzealous putting this on last year. So, we get the strap wrench out. So, strap wrench principle is simple. It's a tight rubber band. It's got a, it's got a handle and you use the, the leverage to basically twist this thing off. Of course, it's not really cooperating, but. There we go. So basically, you just loosen the filter, put a light bead of oil on the rubber gasket, um, on the new filter, pour a little bit in it to kind of pre-soak it so you don't run the engine dry for too long. And uh, that's pretty much it. Once you get the filter on and uh, the drain plug is back in, you want to um, put the rest of one and a half quarts of oil in it and um, start it up and check for leaks. That's pretty much it. Oil change done. 